do you want to include in your Arduino project menu navigation? If you do, you are in the right place. In today's video, we are using a rotary encoder to scroll through menu on a display such as the OLED display. A rotary encoder is an input device that can measure rotation typically used in Arduino project to detect the position and direction of a rotating uh, knob or shaft. If you want to include in your Arduino project precise control, infinite rotation, direction sensing, durability and uh, push button functionality, you are in the right video. Rotary encoders allow for smooth and uh, precise adjustment, unlike potentiometers, okay, uh, which have limited ranges. Unlike potentiometers, rotary encoders can rotate infinitely in both directions without reaching a stop point, making them ideal for applications needing continuous uh, control. Push button functionality, it is also in included in many rotary encoders, uh, adding an additional input feature in the same device. My rotary encoder has five pins. The first one, clock pin, generates square wave signals as the uh, encoder shaft rotates. The uh, DT pin, the data track pin, also generates square wave signals as the uh, encoder shaft rotates. So they both work in conjunction. So, and uh, the third pin, okay, the uh, SW pin, the switch pin, the push button pin, and uh, plus the the VCC, the ground, of, of course, the ground. Okay, now let's start our bi uh, building, our build, okay, our project. So the shaft, okay, that is going to rotate so, so that we can select, okay, Open the menu, the uh, the uh, Arduino Uno board, okay, R3, you can use any other Arduino Uno, the uh, OLED display. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to connect, okay, the red wire to the uh, plus pin. And... Uh, The uh, let me okay, right now. This one to the uh, push button pin and uh, the one to the uh, DT pin, the data pin that uh, is. Uh, the black, the white wire to the uh, clock pin. Now, clock pin I connect. I connect to pin two to uh, to Arduino pin two. Just like that. Then I grab the. Uh, this is the uh, the data pin to Arduino pin uh, three. And uh, the push button Arduino pin for the VCC, the plus pin to five volt and the, the ground to ground. So we we just set set up the uh, water encoder now. 
I I need I need to set up the uh, only the display. Just like that. So that's the uh, the data pin SDA pin the clock pin SCL the VCC and um, the ground. Okay. Now I'm going to connect up uh, um, the um, that's the uh, let me see. Okay, so yeah, like that. So SDA to pin uh, A4 and uh, SCL to pin A5. And of course, the uh, OLED display can work with uh, 3.3 volt power supply. Okay, so the ground to ground. Beautiful. Uh, let me just uh, fix this. So the wire won't connect. So, okay, let me, let me try again. Okay, done. Now I can plug in. So this is our wiring, our schematic, the diagram. So I'm, I'm going to provide it in the description of this video. So now let's go to the uh, code so uh, i'm going to use uh, an example from u8 okay from, from this library u8 g2 so i'm going to use okay here and the uh, encoder yeah the one then I click on it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to click on it and um, yeah, that's the one. And yeah, now I need to some many lines here. So I, I just need the uh, for the board without a uh, reset. Um, we said yeah the one okay so I, I, I'm going to uncomment this line then I'm going to remove the uh, other ones okay so uh, I don't need them I don't need these lines here okay okay now I remove great now that's our code. This is our code. So, and uh, don't forget to install the uh, necessary libraries. Okay. So I'm going to put the code in the description of this video. Okay. Now I'm using Arduino Uno, so I go to board to tool tools board. Arduino Uno. Click on Arduino Uno board. Then I go back to tools again and uh, port. Okay, I pick my port. Then I hit the uh, upload icon. It's uploading the sketch. Great. So, great. We're done. Okay. Now the testing time. Okay, guys. So 
the push button is for selecting okay uh, and uh, the D T uh, pin will, uh, will work in conjunction with uh, the uh, clock pin to provide the necessary the data for interpreting the uh, encoders rotational direction steps so that we we we, we can um uh, scroll through the uh, menu okay and so let me just zoom in okay so you can see clearly okay now by rotating okay i scroll through the menu to select you click on the push button okay like that click and then you choose the uh, animal once it's done you go you, you, you click on push button you click then you show 